This is a message to the Val Doyle crew that showed up at the Prizer pub looking for my brother Joe. Now, it's not to everybody. It's just whoever showed up at the pub. Um, this is a message to you. The night before, Terence Mongan was drinking with my brother Joe and John and that in the pub and came back to our camp and done a bit of mouthing and blackguarding in the camp and wouldn't stop. The lads tried to get him to stop for AIDS. He still wouldn't. He continued the blackguard. He even, the boys even got him to leave. He came back again and again and again and again and again. Eventually, they got him out the gate. He told, he told the boys to go fuck themselves, this, that, the other. He got a couple of clouts off my brother John and then he tried to box with my brother Joe and my brother Joe gave him a couple of kicks. Now, there was other people there. There was two fellas with my brother John and Joe and there was some of your people there as well. Uh, there was as much as everyone there on the night. Um, and that's what happened. Anyway, Terence jumped up afterwards and openly admitted in front of everybody it was his own fault for this happening and he started everything. Now, you'd imagine there's a fair old chap and uh, obviously the boys were more than happy just to leave it at that. Like, you know, it was only an old drunken thing at the end of the day. And look, everyone gets drunk, boys, and everyone blackguards the drink here and there. And uh, look, as long as you admit to it and you leave it at that, that's fair enough. You know what I mean? But uh, yesterday morning, Big gangy arrived in the Prizer pub, uh, apparently looking for my brother Joe. There was CCTV footage there, was seen and everything. My brother Joe was up there looking at it, seeing every single person that was there. We know exactly to a T who exactly was there. And um, just let you all know where we were never going to let that go. So whoever was there, there's a fight for every single one of you, bar nobody. There's a fight for every single one of you right now, whenever you want it. And... Um, yeah, you're talking about dirty goals and things like that. Now, I'm trying to do a reasonable thing here, boys. We all live in the one area of Kulak. We all shop in the same places. We all know the same people. What's the point starting a big, dirty, innocent, stupid row with each other and war or whatever? Look, it means nothing to me. I, I'd still sleep the same at night with it going on, but nothing to me anyway. But let's handle it the right way, lads, and uh, let's get a couple of fights on the road. But here's one last thing I will say. There is a couple of you down there in the site, and this is for sure because I heard it, um, saying on phones that you weren't there looking for Joe and you wouldn't do that. If that's the case, lads, get on the oak and prove that you weren't because that would be the fair thing to do. You know what I mean? That would be the fair thing to do, lads, to get on the oak and prove that you weren't. And if that's the case, we have no issue with you. But the ones that were there to attack my brother Joe by himself in the Prizewood pub... It's on. It's on. And as I said, there's a fight there for every single man that was there. We'll match you all up the correct way. And there's a fight there for you all. So uh, before it goes down a big mad dirty route, lads, let's try and get it on the proper old travel way. A couple of old bangs. Nobody can get hurt or killed out of it. But if you want to get it on the other way, lads, it's absolutely, completely zero issues to me. It's water off a duck's back to me. But um, look, not on this call of names are causing any trouble. I genuinely have no interest in it, boys. Um, my brother Joe was wronged, and uh, that's why we're up here. So let me know what you think, lads.